All right, hello everybody. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be unboxing some goodies sent out from Dubia Paul. Now, when I placed the order, I ordered some live feeders and some spring tails, and Dubia Paul was kind enough and generous enough to add in a mystery box of isopods. Now, I did get this box a couple of days ago, and the parcel arrived straight away. I did unbox it already. Um, I did check it out because I had to make sure they were alive and everything they had and everything was good. Everything was alive, everything was good, so I've put them back in. I tried to package the box as best as I could, probably not as good as what Dubia Paul did do himself, but yeah, everything was absolutely perfect. With this being my first time with Dubia Paul, I thought I would do an unboxing video on it and I could possibly give you guys an insight on what to expect when ordering from Dubia Paul and um, give me an honest opinion on it and stuff like that. So right off the belt, starting with the postage, um, speaking with them, he posted it one day, it arrived the next day very fast, very quick. Uh, packaging looks great, of course, like I said, it has been opened already. There is ventilation holes in the box all the way around, not sure if they are visible, you've got one here. But they're all put in the box all the way around, which you can see. Um, you have on the table top, saying it's fragile, down the bottom reptile live food so packaging is great um so yeah big up for that one you've got your ventilation holes all the way around i mean the side here has two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fourteen along that side you've got four on this side it's all taped up nicely no damage to the box with postage and everything like that absolutely amazing customer service been speaking to him a while um about different things and stuff and he's been actually very very helpful, uh, good bloke to speak to, very nice, kind, helpful, uh, yeah, I don't know really what else I could possibly say other than that. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this box opened up. So of course, so open up the box, right off the belt, it was packaged something like this, like I said it was probably done a lot better by Paul. Now I like this because it's plain, it's simple, I mean it stands out enough, it's bright green, it's got his logo on, it's got his website and his social media tags. It's not cluttered with unnecessary stuff, it looks more modern, it looks more professional, so yeah, I mean, show off the belt, loving that. Now we have a, a little sticker here that says, Dear customers, thank you for choosing us with your order, it would make our day if you could spare a minute to leave some feedback for this transaction as a small seller, this would really help us, we look forward to hearing from you and have a good day and its website. And the paper on top, like I say, is I have already opened this, I have looked inside, I have seen the things, they are alive. Um, just try to package it back up for the video so you guys can see what they expect. But yeah, the paper was packed in very nicely down the sides. So packaging removed, straight off the belt. Now I ordered some Dubia roaches and some springtails. And what he done is sent out the Dubia Roaches, like this. I'll get some better shots for you in a second. Let me just get them out here. We have a Springtail Culture. He then added an additional Springtail Culture. And he also added the Orange Springtail Culture too. Which is really excited about because I have been wanting these girls. And then lastly, we have the Isopod Mystery Box. So this is the 20 pound one. Before we do this, if I butcher any names, I'm sorry, please don't abuse us. Right. How on earth do I see this? So first up on the list, we've got these ones. I'm not gonna try and pronounce this name because I will absolutely butcher it and make myself look an idiot. But yeah, we've got these girls here, absolutely stunning. So we have 10 of these that's in here and they are absolutely stunning. And check out those yellow markings on them there. So we have one, two, three, four, we have five up the top, on the underside, six, and in the tub, seven, eight, ooh, nine, and the tenth one will be kicking around there somewhere. There it is, ten. Yeah, so we've got ten of those in there, look at them colours. Absolutely stunning. Right, so that's them ones done. Check the next ones. Now these ones, I can actually see, <laughs> dairy cow, <laughs> nice and simple. Simple things for a simple guy. And straight in, look at them, wow. How cool do they look? Let's 
So yeah, same with them, absolutely stunning. 10 in there also. Let's see the next. Now name something caramel, I'm guessing. Now I think you said these ones are a Spanish species and they're actually quite delicate, but I mean, these are huge. Let's take a look at these. I mean, look at the size of them compared to a finger. Hello. Yeah, these are absolutely massive. Yeah, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the underside, eight, nine, ten. Oh, honestly, man, these are amazing. So I've actually got giant orange isopods in my bioactive setup. I got them quite a while ago now. This is my second time having isopods. So I'm actually really excited to get a little setup going for these. So all I have to do is obviously make little separate homes for these. That's them sorted out anyways, let's take a look next. Now in here we have 50 dubia roaches and we also have the separate sword. Also with another 50 in. First time using dubia roaches as well. I've used red runners in the past, but I haven't used dubias. So I'm excited to try these girls out. So I wanna know if anybody watching this uh, knows, can you let me know how can you tell the male or female? I know with red runners. Uh, the males have the wings that are a lighter colour. Females, the smaller, darker ones. So I wonder if, uh, if there's anything particular that stands out with these. But yeah, anyone knows, please feel free to let me know. Then we have our springtail culture, which pretty much is what it is. You guys know about this. For those of you who don't, springtails are part of your cleanup crew. These little tiny white bug things and they eat like decaying matter and stuff like that, um, mold that's inside the tanks and stuff like that in your, in your setups. These will actually eat it along with isopods also, if your ants or your spiders, your scorpions, your reptiles, if anything like that is leaving like leftover bits of carcasses like from the food that they've been eating, a uh, little bit of mold is forming, these will uh, these will eat on that and they'll get rid of it. So these are classes your cleaner crew. Next, I see I only ordered one batch and he sent out two. But I was really excited about these ones, was the orange ones. Now the orange ones are larger, I do have uh, white ones already in one of my bioactive setups. And I've actually been eyeballing these ones for a while now. It's like a ready orangey colour. Let's see, can I get myself a shot of one? Because these are so beautiful. Look at that. Now these ones are more expensive than your normal ones, but I mean, it'll just stand out so much more. Uh, hopefully they'll, they'll breed and I'll get a ton of them, that'll, that'll be really cool. Yeah, I'm not spending more of them, they must all be hiding now. I've literally just been looking at them a second ago as well, there's loads under the lid. So yeah, we got, uh, we got 25 of them ones in there, so buzz them with that, buzz them with that. Alright guys, there it is, there we have it. Uh, that was my unboxing of my first time ordering with Dubia Paul. Very, very happy, very pleased. Um, overall rating, I would say, honestly, I would, I would give him a 10 out of 10. Actually, no, I'll give him a 9. The only way I would give him a 10 out of 10 is if you would drop it off in person. I mean, that's just nitpicking, but I mean, that's never going to happen. Uh, but yeah, like I said, man, I would have my feeders and one springtail culture. It gives us an additional, uh, an additional culture, plus the orange ones. And he also gave me the uh, £20 mystery box for his isopods. Isopods are absolutely stunning. Uh, yeah, so overall rate, man, honestly, I've seen 9 out of 10, great guy, very nice to speak to, very helpful. Um, his packaging was good, you know, there was, there was no damage, there was ventilation on the box. Um, the inside was all packed up nicely and the postage came very fast to come within the next day. So yeah, you, you, you generally can't get any better than that. I mean, you would seriously, seriously have to nitpick. Super pleased, very, very happy and uh, there is no doubt that from now on in the future, I will be making my orders from Dubia Paul. Now, I stumbled across Dubia Poles due to my ant keeping hobby. Um, I ran out of red runners. I bought them a while ago on um, on eBay, and I ran out and I wanted to try Dubia roaches. 
and the ant lady tracy uh, recommended me to try dubia paul so check out his website check out the store i've had a little spook him and stuff that really nice guy you know he was very helpful and explaining things to us um yeah man i'm just really really satisfied great order you know i could it doesn't come any better than that, you know, it really doesn't come any better than that. So with that being said, let's wrap the video up. If anyone has wanted to check out Dubia Paul, you can go down in the description below. You will find links to his uh, website and his social media tabs. I'll drop everything in there so you can go ahead and uh, check out his store. You know, it's, he's got some great stuff on, man, some really cool stuff. Oh, I can see all the little orange ones now. They're all coming out on show. As soon as I stop the video. Damn. But yeah, go check out his website, check out his social media tabs. You know, he's very active on his Instagram and stuff like that also. And if you did enjoy today's video, please drop a like, it would help me out a lot. Leave a comment, let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Have you used order from Dubia Paul before? Have you ordered from him? Are you going to order from him? Let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. You guys are the best. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope this does help you and I hope this does push you in the right direction of making a good order. And uh, yeah, appreciate it guys. Thank you very, very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Big love.